Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you what's in my phone. So this is something that a lot of YouTubers already done and I thought it was really really interesting to know what they have on their phone. So I just thought that I would do the same and show you what I have on my phone. So this is my phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It's the pink gold one, looks like this. I actually have a cover case which I think is really really pretty and cute and I love it. And I just received this for my birthday. I was super super excited. My husband gave it to me and I just love it so so much. So I'm gonna start by showing you my first screen. This is the first screen. My phone, you will notice, it's very, very simple. I don't have unnecessary things there. If I like something, I will keep it. If I don't like an app, I will just remove it from the phone. I don't want junky stuff on my phone. So the first little app that you see in there, it's my Instagram app. Uh, when you open it, it just has my Instagram feed. And you people know how Instagram works. I love Instagram so much, I'm always there, I'm always checking other people's Instagram, it just gives me so much inspiration, I love it. Then is Twitter, once again, I'm always on Twitter as well, really really like it. Um, and I will leave my links somewhere here down, so if you don't follow me there already, please just go and do so. Then I have Page Manager, which is an app for you to manage your Facebook page so I have the Magda Simply Facebook page um, and I use this app to manage it on my phone. Then I have Facebook where I have my private account. Yes, I do have a private Facebook account just for family and friends. Then obviously I have YouTube, you know, this is very very important to me. And right next to it I have a little app called Studio and what this app does is it lets you manage your YouTube channel from your phone so instead of you having to be on your computer you can do it from your phone so you can read comments uh, you can like comments you can respond to people you can even upload videos if you want from your phone and that's pretty cool because when you're on the go you not always have your computer with you and you can still be in touch with your subscribers and stuff like that then next to it, I have Google Chrome. This is very necessary. I'm always searching the internet, so it's something really important. Then I have Snapchat, which I have to say, I'm not very good at Snapchatting. I know that everybody loves it, but I think I don't know how to work with it properly. <laughs> and that's why I don't spend that much time. I do spend time in there watching other people's stories, but I am not very good myself doing stories and stuff like that. Then I have another little app which is called We Heart It. Love this. It gives me so much inspiration. There is so many beautiful pictures in there. It's almost like a Pinterest, something like that. And it's just beautiful. I really, really like it. Then I have Viber, which I use to speak with my family that it's back in Portugal, like my mom, my dad, my sister. It's a very important app for me as well. Then I have a Gmail and Outlook. Gmail is my private account. Outlook, it's my YouTube channel account. So if you guys want to contact me or any companies want to contact me, then I have Messenger, which is from Facebook. Then moving on to the next page, which is actually the last one because I only have two pages. I have three little apps that help me edit my photos and I also edit my thumbnails in this app. So the ones that I use the most is the PixArt and the You Come Perfect. The Cimera ones I use sometimes, from time to time. But I really, really like the PixArt one to do my YouTube thumbnails and I do like the You Come Perfect to edit my photos. Uh, then I have a little app which you can't see because this is my kids school app. Obviously I didn't want to show in the internet my kids school so that's why I blurred it. But it's a little app that you can go in 
and you will know all the news about the kids, about what they are doing, about the school, so everything is there. Then I have the Daily Mail online, I know, I know, I shouldn't have, they are horrible, <laughs> but you know, it's my guilty pleasure, I really, really like to read the Daily Mail from time to time, especially if I'm somewhere and I'm bored, I'm just gonna read that and that's it. Then I have the three little app because that's my network on my phone, is the three network. Then I have the Avast mobile security and this is just an antivirus for your phone, the most boring thing ever, but it's amazing, it really protects your phone. Then I have the normal stuff, you know, calendar clock, Google stuff, Microsoft stuff. Um, I don't have any games yet because like I said, this is a new phone, so I didn't uh, download any games yet, but some games that I really, really like are, and I'm going to show it to you. Let me go to the App Store. I really, really like the Block 1010 Puzzle, which looks like this. I love this game so much and I'm actually going to install it. This is not an ad, it's just something that when I'm bored, I just play and play and play and play hours until my phone has no battery. So that's something I really really like to play. I also like to play Best Fiends. I think that's how you call it. Fiends? Fiends? I know that everybody talks about it and it looks like this. I know that everybody on YouTube talks about this game, but I really really enjoy it. And yeah, that's it. That's everything on my phone. I hope that this wasn't a boring uh, video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!